Hi, Seabrispers here, back with another Ordinal Marker video, episode 69. Nice. And you can see I have progressed a bunch off camera. I'm now up to 10, and then 10 arrows, and then this amount of incrementy. Which is like, I think episode 7 of my numbers getting bigger series. Yeah, it's crazy. But you can see I do hit a decent milestone here, and this is this upgrade. And this makes it so that the first three fractal upgrades reset upon, well, okay, no, that doesn't make it. So you can see the first three of these reset upon fractal shifts, but the last two don't, which means that just I'm going to get a free one of these upgrades every run from now, which is actually, that's really nice. Now you can see I'm going to be able to hit the next fractal shift in probably a little over 10 minutes which isn't bad because to get to the to get to 10 then 10 arrows it took several hours i mean then again i needed to get to 100,000 rather than 1,000 so you can see energy orbs are doing their thing and oh yeah there's the one other thing it's that it's more symbolic than anything but yep fractal boosts it's yeah, it's, it says coming soon, but there hasn't been an update to this game in a long time, and the creator of it does not plan on implementing this fractal boost mechanic. So, I mean, I know that I, there's actually a thing called Ordinal Market Rewritten that is in the works, but it's at like the equivalent of like episode 5 right now, so it's nowhere close to where I am now, unfortunately. So... Yeah, I kind of wanted to show you this. I also kind of wanted to show you what a random, or just a normal run looks like. So I think that's what I'll do. I mean, it won't be this fractal shift, but at least one of them, where I'll just show you how things have sped up or slowed down. Because, yes, some parts of the run actually have slowed down. Like, parts that were previously faster have slowed down. Because the Incrementiverse is a trash mechanic. So, yeah, seeing a bit... Okay, I'm back, and I'm going to show you this next run. So you can see I have gotten a couple of fractal shifts off camera, and I am just going to show you what a full run is going to look like. So you can see, um, again, this is going to give me another automation engine, um, and this base will go down by one, but it doesn't really mean much. I'm not going to get any orbs, and the fractal engine costs are going to go up. So... First thing we can do, we can get this. That is an easy thing we can do. And now we essentially have to play like episode 65 over again. Because, I mean, this this is normal. Like I just have to get this um, and it should be by yeah, getting this automatically. This is still kind of slow. I cannot get any um, fractal lunge. Actually, what I can do is is I should get this. Boost this, this will help make things a little bit faster. And yeah, I need E11 incrementing, which is way more than like the E30 something thousand that I needed in episode 65. So you can see what I need to do is I need to just get this. And this this will be getting um, better and better, but still not all that good. Like, I think my auto-clicking is doing, like, 30 per second, so... If I want to speed it up, I can just spam-click like this, and... The thing is that this number is based on the energy orbs, so... The energy orbs are really nice, and let's see... I do want to check if I have 600 functions, because that will speed it up considerably. I just need enough... I, th I think I need a little over 3,000 manifolds or something like that. So, that's what I am going to do. You can see it does take a little bit. It's not as bad as episode 65, but it's still, an, you have to do this every time you fractal shift. So, it is, it does get annoying. And, okay, here we go. We can get this now. So, now this is 150 per second. It's quite a bit faster. But then, we are going to hit the cap. It's, I think it's around E27,000, but... Lately, it's been like E34,000. This is where 
like this um, this cost will actually make it so I can't really progress because of um, the I think it's yeah it's based this one it's gain additional incrementing multiplier per incrementing doubler upgrade based on on spent functions so that's what that is but actually it looks like I can progress even farther without this. Or with this. Oh, yeah, now I'm hitting my cap. Uh, wait, yeah, I'm, I'm hitting my cap here. So, E42,000 incrementing. So, this means I have to do this. I have to get the same thing except without this. Which means that, yes, it's slower. And I know it sucks. But um, the thing is that the next thing I want to go for is this. Um, I need... I'm not exactly sure if I can get it yet. Um, I can't get it even though I have the functions to get it because of how weird Incrementiverse is. But luckily the energy orbs are providing a decent effect now. Like the, the energy orb is, is really how I think this is tolerable because this would absolutely suck if I had to be stuck at 10 per second this whole time. So I'm just gonna get this. I want to get some more. Like yeah, this grind does take a while. This is, I think, the same one as in episode 65, where it was just it just seemed to take forever to get. And it's because you need a total of like 4250 here, and even with this, like I have 3817. So. Okay, I, I need to calculate. This is 1,300, this would be 2,300, 2,800, 3,400, um, yeah. Oh, wait, no, wait that, that, that doesn't seem right. Um, oh yeah, because this doesn't cost anything, so, yeah, 2,300, 3,800. So, once this gets up to, um, so 4,250, um, 3250, 17,50. Yeah, once that gets up to 1730, I can go on to the next step. Usually this grind does take long enough that I just like leave the computer and wait usually way too long. Like like this probably only takes like 10 or 20 minutes, but sometimes I probably I leave the computer for like 24 hours or something. But you can see I am eventually approaching the amount I need to get this. And that's where things do get a little bit better. So it's I just I just gotta do a little bit more of this. The energy orbs are really helping. It's now up to six 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 per second because of this thirty eight times multiplier. And yeah, now I'm about fifty functions away. I don't know why I'm clicking here. This is adding at most forty per second, which is like not it's barely five percent. But yeah, anyway, we're we're approaching it now, so. I'm going to refund when I hit 1730, and oh, oh, this is this is a need 20 functions, not cost 20 functions. Uh, that is so weird how some of the upgrades like cost something and then need another thing. But anyway, we can get this, and this significantly speeds things up. Um, yeah, we have to, we're using this upgrade rather than the other one, and it doesn't seem as fast as I actually remember it. But at least it's something, and it's pr it's probably actually I can use this in tandem with the other upgrade here. So yeah, I think once I get um, yeah fifteen hundred here, now I think things start getting better, right? Oh, they actually don't get all that much better. Okay, that's actually kind of surprising. I thought that was gonna was gonna do way better. It's probably because I need. Oh yeah, of course this. This upgrades the good one, right? Right? No, that's not the good one. Um, I could go for this. Yeah, it now is beneficial to go for that. Um, even though I can't get any more of these upgrades, getting that. Upgrade allows me to get so much more of these that it ends up giving me a ton of singularity levels, which means I can get this upgrade. Which I, I think, yeah, that's the good one. Because now everything is starting to explode a little bit. 
Just a little bit. And now the next thing is 5,000 functions. So incrementing boosts the incrementing multiplier upgrade multiplier by this. And I can't, oh, I'm like, why can't I get it? It's a bug. Th these aren't lighting up. So just get these, and yeah, now my functions are really starting to explode. Um, I have EE8 incrementing. Now what I need is I just need to get up to two E5 functions here, and hopefully, yeah, this will square this, so it'll essentially be the same amount of time from 0 to 2 E5 as to get it, getting 0 to this. And that is where I'll be able to get, actually, the thing is that, like, okay, and now I'm up to EE10 incrementing, and the grind actually stops soon, because I don't really need to do all of this over again. All I need is enough incrementing to get the first fractal engine. And I think last time that was like around EE10. So this is where the grind would have stopped. But this time, since the fractal engine costs keep going up, I have to get further and further into this. So yeah, every run it gets slower, which is a concept I hate. So anyway, we can still, yeah, we can get this, and hopefully now, um, yeah, now I'm getting up to E, E11 incrementing, and luckily I do not need to grind all the way up to E6. It looks like I can start the first fractal engine right now, and boom. So now what I do, I actually have a strategy for this. Since these first couple are so fast, I just... I think actually what I do is I boost even fractal engines. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure if this is the most efficient thing to do at this point, but this actually allows me to get past these first couple really quickly, or at least the even ones. And yeah, now I can get this, and here is the MVP upgrade. It's this one, the last one. This is why, if it wasn't for this upgrade, I would probably not be using this only even strategy because now I can get this and this is gonna be super fast just because of how I'm boosting this one with the energy orbs it's right now not at a um, big multiplier but it's the plan is to get this multiplier to be very big when I am at fractal engine level 4 so that's what I am going to do. There's really not all that much difference between the even and the odd right now. And it is time to now go to level 3. So, of course, we're going to get all of these upgrades. Um, it is nice that I can get this, and these actually do seem repeatable, which is definitely interesting. But, anyway, this is slightly slower, um, but the thing is that this allows me to build up a multiplier for the fractal engine level 4. So this is essentially how I can get through the beginnings of these runs in a relatively quick way. However, essentially each of these runs takes five times longer. It's like so like fractal engine level 4, then 5, that's going to take five times longer, then 6 is going to take five times longer than that. And this is where I just swap between odd and even every time. I have considered trying to get both of these, but I don't think it's worth it. Like, I'll be getting 0.0001% per second, and I think that's slow enough that even 100,000 seconds of that, like, what would 100,000, that would be 10%. So, 10% per day. So, there will be a time where this possibly does become the best strat, but Currently, this is not going to be the best strat. Like, I think this will only become the best strat if the runs are taking literal months. Or at least literal weeks. And even the, the worst one has taken, like, I think 48 hours. Actually, not even 40. Like, 36 hours is, I think, the worst one I've seen yet. So... Hasn't gotten hasn't gotten ridiculously bad yet. So the, yeah, I this does take a while without the energy orbs, but I am going to be thinking myself with the next 
fractal engine level. And yeah, there's not really much reason to show more runs than this, or at least break down more runs than this, because they're all essentially the same thing. Except I just need to get one fractal engine level or higher every time. It's almost like it's almost like late game clicker heroes. So you just have to do the same things over and over again. With there actually is a couple of boosts here, but it isn't as much as I would want. And now we can get level four here. So this is gonna make it so I can. Yeah, this is good. now this is where the the energy or boost really, really comes in handy. And now we are up to a four times multiplier, so this is going to be roughly the same speed as level three fractal engine. Okay, so now I can finally get up to level five, so this is where I actually start swapping, and every run like this is going to, every like level fractal engine like this is going to effectively be the same. So yeah, I, I'm going to stop breaking down the run here. I'm not going to end the episode yet. Um, I actually do have one more trick up my sleeve, and that is actually called the eye mouse trick. It's literally just an auto clicker that I could possibly use to speed things up very, very slightly when things take weeks. Like it may even take like just a day. it can shave a day off if it's taking weeks and weeks. But yeah, that's. That's about all I can do here, so let's see how far I can get. So see you then. Okay, I am back like three or four weeks later, and yeah, I'm up to E, or not E15, 15 arrows of incrementy. And actually this time I tried doing both of these on, and this is not good. You can see after even after like three weeks, it's not even at 99% effectiveness. I'm guessing, like, when it was at 96% or something, like, a, a week or so ago, this was at half the multiplier it would be now. So, moral of the story, do not do this. Maybe, maybe unless it's lasting months or years, but still no. Just, just, just switch it every time. And you can see I can get this, which allows me to get a couple of these upgrades, which... I will just do the one last time of, you know, using this and all that to see how fast, you know, just initially getting the fractal engine going is. So you can see here, um, I can already get <laughs> both of these upgrades here. Just get this, so you can see, just well, well, you can see what the multiplier I'm getting here is. Well, I mean... It would be higher if it was, if I could actually, you know, get these, but whatever. We're just going to boost this and just do the same thing as before in the episode. I'm just going to cut this part out. Okay, I am to the point where I have enough incrementing that I can start getting, you know, the fractal engines. So let's start doing that. The first thing I'm going to do here is this and then immediately go to here just to get these upgrades. Mostly this one, that's the OP one. And now also we just want to go to energy orbs. We can boost, I don't know, we'll just boost the even ones just as before. And yeah, look how fast it is. You can see it's only taking just a few seconds to reach the first few levels of the Fractal Engine. That's, that's essentially all I really wanted to show you here. And yeah, now I'm up to four arrows. And again, it's going to take like 30 seconds to reach the next level. And yeah, that is really about it for Ordinal Markup. I know, yes, I can grind further to get more arrows of Incrementy. Yes, that's a thing. But I think the farthest anyone's gone is like 18 or 19. And it really isn't interesting. It's just the same thing over and over again, except it takes like five times longer every time. I mean, yes, sometimes I do get the energy orbs, but even every energy orb is just not that exciting. So, yeah, this is the end of such a long series. 69 episodes. Like, that's that's almost a third of New Game++. Plus Plus Plus. <laughs> Yeah, you can see 
now it's up to level four. Just we're just gonna get this, <laughs> and yeah, hope hope you guys enjoyed this entire series. I I did enjoy playing this game, even though you know time walls do exist in this game, and even though Pat Kale is a jerk sometimes, this game is still a great varied incremental game. And yeah, that's about all I have to say. Like, definitely there's some points that are better than others. Like, I do like the early collapse period the best. Between, like, especially between episodes, like, 25 and 37. Though That was probably the best part of the game. But not to say that the other parts of the game were, weren't great. I mean, okay, this part of the game isn't very good but still it was just it's a good experience overall and like like I think I rated it pretty high on my you know incremental game scores the, the Doug school qu equivalent of Doug scores for incremental games if you've ever watched Doug DeMiro but yeah hope hope you guys enjoyed this series and I th what I'm gonna do to replace this I'm going to continue Realm Grinder. I mean, I think I've already started to <laughs> upload some more Realm Grinder videos at this point. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.